Since insulation is strongest when the sun is directly overhead, the equator is heated more strongly than other places on Earth. Heated air rises and cold air sinks, resulting in low surface pressure at the equator and high surface pressure at the poles. The engine of low latitude atmospheric circulation is the Hadley cell. Convection occurs at the thermal equator. Poleward moving air is forced to descend. This produces two subtropical belts of high pressure, centered at about 30 degrees latitude. Surface winds spiral out from the subtropical highs, moving toward the equator as well as the mid latitudes. Above 30 degrees latitude, wind patterns are more complex in a belt of conflict between polar and subtropical air known as the polar front. The latitude at which the sun is directly overhead changes with the seasons. Since Hadley cell circulation is driven by this heating, we can expect elements of the Hadley cell to migrate as well. At high altitude, air moves without the drag of surface friction. This geostrophic wind moves along rather than across the pressure gradient. The westerly flow of upper air frequently forms undulations called Rossby waves. Warm air pushes poleward, while troughs of cold air, brought south, are pinched off, leaving pools of cool air in the mid-latitudes.